Hey Jackals, do you like animations? Do you like 3D animations? And would you like to make your own but don't know how? Well then this tool is for you. And why am I showing it? Well because you can participate in challenge. So what can you make? Well you can make an animation just like this one. And it was done very quickly and I'll show you how. Now let's get digital. Now you don't have to buy anything, this is totally free, what you need is go to products and use Rococo video. You'll have to make an account, but you can just try it out. I'm already logged in and this is what you'll see. You should watch this video and maybe also this one, but you don't have to. I will link this video that pretty much explains in 10 minutes what you have to do. If your model has a T-pose, which is this, a T-pose, and the second thing that you need is to go to the integrations and choose one of these. I've used Blender and you'll basically download the Blender plugin and install it. I'll also show you how to do that. First, you'll go in here and make a video. Now for this step, you'll need a camera. So this can be a USB cam. I'll also leave a link on how to make your own if you have a dead laptop, so you can use that camera. You can also use a webcam and you can also use your phone to record and then upload that video. This is the footage that I have. It was done with the webcam to USB cam that I made myself. It's a pretty low quality, but even still, the movements were picked up. You can now record any kind of movement to apply to the model, I'll be doing that in Blender, but before I do I have to install Rococo Studio, just follow the instructions and sign in. But don't make your animations too long, because it takes at least 3 times as much as long to process the animation as what is the video duration. Once the installation is done and the processing is done, you can go to the recently added scenes and simply open it. Now simply double click on the new recording and the animation will load in. You can now play the animation and tweak it. In this case I think it's ok even though it's my first time doing it. Once you're happy with the animation, go to export and select body mesh. You can also change the pose of the model, in this case it was T pose, but the first frame showed A pose. Luckily for me, this didn't make any difference. Then simply export the model. Now you'll need a model that you'll apply your awesome animation to, but because I just wanted to test this out, I used Mixamo. You'll also have to make an account and then just download any model that you like. So now inside Blender, you'll want to first install the plugin. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click on the install, search for the plugin. The plugins are installed as zip files, so don't extract them, simply open the zip file, click on the install add-on, and once it's installed, it will show up, and you have to click on the checkbox, so you enable it. And once you do, if you hit N, you'll see it in the tabs, and you also have to sign in, so that you see the full panel. Now simply delete the cube, go to File, Import, we have two FBX files, so we have the model, I'll simply leave it as is, not go to the render tab, because my PC is a little bit slow, I'll simply move the model over, and now I'll also import the other FBX file, which is the animation. And in here make sure that the animation is turned on. So as you can see, my model in the start has this straight pose and this is a T pose. But if you select the model that you've imported and go to here, object data properties and click on the rest pose, you can see that this is actually a T pose. But if that was not the case, I would have to fix the model. So now I can play this. It will play like the animation was. It's not going to be a full animation. I have to extend it down here. This was about 
1250 in my case. So this is now the whole animation. Now if you don't want to see this model and you just want to see the bones, you'll have to open the Roco Co video character, go through it and disable the Newton head and Newton headless. So now you see just the bones and you can do the same with this guy. This is under the armature and simply disable it so that we only see the bones. And what we want to do now is to align these bones to these bones. Now with the Rokoko tab opened, go to retargeting, go to source. So the source will be the original animation, which is the root and the armature is this new 3D model. So this will be the target. Click on build bone list, extend it. And I've done this previously, so the whole list is filled in. But if it's not, so maybe something like this, you don't know which bone is which. So right finger meta crepal. So what you have to do is select both elements, go to object and select pose mode. If you don't select both objects, then you'll only be able to select bones on one of them. So now we need to find this one, right finger, meta crepal. So it's this bone and we need to figure out which bone is here. So this would be right hand thumb one. In this case I have four bones for the thumb, but I don't need all of them. Thumb one. And then you obviously have to go about and see which bone best fits the other bones. Once everything is done, retarget the animation again. We have duplicate bones found. So I'll just remove this one because it's all the way down here and it is stacked and do the retarget animation. So now the animation should play and it does. Let's see how it looks like. It looks like the original, except I don't think the bones in the fingers were detected, but that is always something that you could fix if you wanted those super fine details. And once you are done with this, you can simply select the bones and delete them. And this will stay linked. And that's how you can quickly animate a 3D character with your own movements by simply using a webcam, a USB cam, or a footage that you upload to the cloud. Did you find the video helpful? If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and good luck if you'll enter the Rococo challenge. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jacko, keep it digital.